हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार राजकृष्णा दिस साइड एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग दिस वी विल यूज लैग्रांजेस मेथड टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम सो व्हाट इज लैग्रांजेस मेथड बेसिक फॉर्म दिस इज स्मॉल पी बट यू कैन से लाइक दिस ओके so the form is pp plus qq equals to r fine now p q and r can be functions of x y and z so what we do we write the auxiliary equation lagrange's auxiliary equation which is nothing but dx divided by capital p equals to dy divided by capital q dz divided by capital r fine so if we compare then uh, in this problem our p is coefficient of small p which is z minus y our q is x minus z and our r is y minus x fine in case we are not able to obtain a equation from this by equating this three we then have to generate some fractions ourselves with the help of this that we take some multipliers let's say l m and n so l then uh, we multiply those multipliers with the particular elements so in numerator we have simple l dx plus m dy plus n dz in denominator anyhow we have to choose such value of l m and n so that if we multiply l with p small p again uh, sorry capital p this time because the coefficient of small p and uh, m with q and uh, with r we multiply the third one which is n so choose such value of l m and n so that this denominator becomes zero okay so we can directly multiply and get a another desired fraction so let's see in this question what happens so in this problem we can write uh, dx by p which is z minus y plus dy by q which is x minus z equals to sorry there will be a equal to sign here dz by y minus x as you can see you can't uh, deal with this right now because these are not sufficient if you multiply this and try to integrate there will be a problem okay because terms of y and functions of y are not together terms of x and functions of x are similarly not together so as i told you we need some value of lm and n and that is completely a hit and trial method so start with the simple values of l m n n let's try to take because on seeing i can see that if i add this 3 i am going to get 0 that means adding this 3 giving 0 why not take the value of l m and n to be equal to 1 multiplying by 1 doesn't change the value of p q and r that means simply p plus q plus r will be in denominator that will give us zero 
so one multiplier we got that is l dx so l m and n are one so simply dx dy and dz and c now multiply z minus y by one x minus z by one and y minus x by one x got cancelled you are getting zero what is the significance of this zero this zero means this fraction once equated with any of this three any of this three if you equate this zero will be multiplied and that will make the lhs zero okay so let's see if i choose to equate the first one with this you can choose any one doesn't matter it is anyway going to be multiplied by zero only so i choose to multiply the first one so let's see dx by z minus y equals to dx plus dy plus dz divided by zero divided by zero this is does not mean that this is not defined you can now multiply this and you are will be getting dx plus dy plus dz equals to zero. Integrate both side. You are getting x plus y plus z equals to some constant. Fine. Now this is uh, just the one equation which you have got and constant. Sometime we let as u also. So this is the first one which we got. Let's mark this. Similarly, we need another one. So what we'll do, we'll try to find another multiplier. So I'm not showing again that all these three, let's say, because whatever multiplier you've got, you will get denominator as zero. So let's choose uh, rather than writing all three, let's choose only one. So dy by x minus z I'm choosing. dy by x minus z. And let's see a uh, check now what multiplier you can choose now because we have already used one 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 you have to think something else let's check for x y z let's check just just the hit and trial thing again so if you multiply capital P by X capital Q by Y capital R by Z so what will happen uh, we'll uh, see uh, roughly here first so x z minus y z first then multiply by y so x y minus z y then by z y z minus x z as you can see this is getting cancelled this is getting cancelled and uh, x y term where was the x y term x y Oh, x y would have been here all ne? x y minus x y plus so this is giving you zero fine that means let's choose x y z as the multiplier so l d x m d y and l m n n d z Denominator is zero. Let me show that for you uh, what I have done there. So I have multiplied z minus y, x minus z, and y minus x. I multiply x with z minus y, y with x minus z, and z with y minus x. And this I showed on simplification that this is giving you plane zero so dy by x minus z equals to x dx y dy z dz by a zero let's multiply that so you are getting x dx y dy z dz equals to zero let's integrate it x square by 2, y square by 2, z square by 2, 
equals to some constant c. Let's multiply this 2 to the other side. So you will be getting x square plus y square plus z square equals to 2c. Let's say that 2c is nothing but another constant, let's say c. So there you get and c2, you can say this as b also. So you got first, you got second. Now directly write the solution. So what is there? Uh, you have to solve this. So 5 of u comma v equals to 0. So phi of u is x plus, sorry, plus is there. So x plus y plus z. V is x square plus y square plus z square. There are other multiple ways of writing this. You can write phi of x plus y plus z to be equal to x square plus y square plus z square. Or if you like, you can write phi of x square plus y square plus z square to be equal to x plus y plus z. This completely depends upon the student. So that's that was it. So simple looking problem. Just a important thing is to identify multipliers yourself. So that is a task. So this is how we went for this problem. First thing was to get the auxiliary equation because method of grouping method of grouping we have two things in Lagrange's method method of grouping and method of multipliers in case uh, method of grouping is not sufficient we go for generating some other fractions by method of multiplier so in this case because this first three were not sufficient integration did not give you a was not easy or it was not giving us something good so we took another generated another fraction ourselves by choosing multiplier in the first case we chose multiplier as 1 1 1 second case we chose multiplier as x y z and that's how we went with this problem finally solution is written as phi of u comma v equals to 0 that's it. So that's it from my site. Thanks and a very nice day. Do watch more of these problem in my playlist which I have made. Uh, it's a very good playlist on partial differential equation. Do visit that once in your life as well. Thanks and a very nice day.